What up fam, welcome to another Monday Quick Skill. Today I'm gonna show you an easy technique to get this cool antique effect with your leather projects. So, you know, stick around. So there's something about a nice aged leather look that just screams quality for some reason. Like this thing has lasted for so long and has only gotten better and more supple with age. Unlike me, where the ravages of time just make me sore every day. Anyway, I'm gonna show you an easy way to sidestep father time and get your projects to look old without all the weight. First thing you're gonna need, of course, is some nice quality veg tan leather for your projects. That would have been a great segue if Tandy Leather finally sponsored me. What's up, Tandy? Anyways, assuming your project's together and all ready for staining, the next thing you're gonna need is a couple of different gradients of the color you're using. For this project, my lightest base shade is gonna be the saddle tan here. My next darkest is this light brown. And then finally, I'll use this dark brown for a little bit more depth around the edges. Now you could, of course, use any of the classics to apply this, like a brush, a dauber, maybe some wool. But let me show you how to make one of my new favorite dye applicators real quick. All you're really gonna need is a rag from which you've cut a thin strip. And by thin, we're talking about maybe two to three inches. Now just simply take that strip and tightly roll it up. Now just keep everything together with a rubber band right in the center. Now I like this because it's really versatile. I can wrap it up to have a, a thinner point if that's what I need, or a really thick flat area, which is what we're using today. You can also bind it up a lot more loosely so that the ends kind of flare out, giving you almost a flowery, wavy design when you put your dye on. But yeah, these are super easy to make. They're customizable and totally washable, so you can reuse them again. Look at us, look at us being green on this show. All right, with that all wrapped up, pun intended, we can now get to dyeing our project. Oh, one more thing, leather dye is specifically made to be able to dye the skin of a thing. So, you know, make sure you're wearing gloves because of all the, uh, the skin on your hand, which will be dyed. So to get started, I wanna lay down my base coat, the lightest color, which for me is the saddle tan. Using my makeshift dauber to load up on pigment, I evenly coat the leather in one direction. Then I turn my piece a quarter turn and apply the dye in the opposite direction. This is just gonna keep us from having weird lines in one direction and make sure that our entire piece of leather is covered as evenly as possible. And as you can see, our dauber did a really good job laying this first base coat down. It is at this point that we move on to our light brown, the next darkest in that chain. Now we wanna put this coat on very lightly, so only load up the dauber a little bit. It helps to have a piece of scrap leather off to the side in order to unload some of that extra pigment that you pick up on the dauber. If any of you have painted before, it's kind of similar to dry brushing. You just want enough pigment that it gets left behind. Now, starting from those outside edges, work your way in towards the center, just dabbing it as you go. Also, make sure whatever you're using, you're turning on occasion as you're putting it down so you don't develop like the same pattern going all over the place. Slowly work your way into the center, going lighter and lighter as you go. For this one, I just left the very, very middle of it completely devoid of any markings and just feathered into it as I went. And as I'm sure you guessed, once we're happy with that, we'll move on to the dark brown, which is leaking. I should have worn gloves. Ah. Oh, and another quick tip with our dauber here, especially when we're using it as lightly as we are, uh, you can use both ends for different colors. Again, I really like this idea. It works well, it's so simple. Now with our dark color, we wanna go even lighter still. Just kind of working the very edges to be the darkest and then really, really lightly feathering our way in. Oh, and don't forget to finish off the edges at this point too. And that's it. Like I said, super simple, right? But look at it, that looks great. Like I would be happy to have a journal or a book with this kind of fine aged leather look sitting on my shelf somewhere. Pretending, pretending like I'm classy or something. Nice. <coughs> oh, okay, all right. I hope you found these tips useful. If you did, why don't you give me some of that like it love and don't forget to subscribe so you know when I release new content. Also, if you have any cool like quick tips that you love, like, like me and this little roll here, I want you to leave them down in the comments section. It'll help everybody else in the community and who knows, maybe I'll do an episode on it and give you that sweet, sweet YouTube credit. Someday YouTube credit's gonna be worth stuff and I'm gonna be rich. I don't think I have enough subs to be rich. Don't forget to subscribe. All right, I'm gonna take my aged leather and go get myself some fancy whiskey. In the meantime, Keep leveling up, you.